Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from DIY Digital Art. They did send me these items for review, so thank you to DIY Digital Art. So let's do this first little teeny tiny thing here. So there have been these metal tips coming out recently on these sites and I've just been getting them one by one. I know you probably, I think there is a, you could get like all of them at once kind of thing. Um, but I have certain ones that I like better. So this one is a four placer. This is probably my second favorite multi-placer. My favorite one now is the five placer. The four placer used to be my favorite one until I got a five placer and I was like, okay, I like the five placer. So there's a point where I think the placer is just too big and then you kind of just lose some of the control over it. So I, I tend to stay with the four, the five placer and below. I sometimes use a seven placer if I have a large um, amount of multi-placing to do, but most of the diamond paintings I do aren't that color blocked. So I tend to just stick to the four or the five placer. So yeah, so the four placer is my second favorite, used to be my favorite, but now the five. And mainly, it's mainly because I can count four easily when I'm, I don't know, when I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna place it on the canvas. And if I'm not, you're not doing a massive color blocking, all the other ones, they're just overkill. So yeah, four, four placer. Um, it does seem to fit this pen really well. So, so I've, I've noticed sometimes with these ones, with the little rubber bands on them, it's kind of hit or miss whether they will fit your pen. Um, but, and also all your pens are different. So if it doesn't fit your pen, just put some like masking tape around it or wa um, washi tape, just like put a single layer until it fits. But yeah. Um, so this, um, four placer is $1. Um, and I think all the different placers are also $1, so, um, yeah, all the different placers I'm looking are also $1, so you could just choose which ones you like the best, and, yeah, I can never really have enough of the five and the fours, because I, I use them all the time, um, and I, so then I don't have to keep switching them out for my pen. So I got another four placer because I've been just kind of switching it from my pens, depending on which ones I'm using. Um, but yeah, four placer. And then I also like using the three and the two when I do special shapes. So I actually have a pen that has a two placer and a three placer. And when I'm doing special shapes, I just use those two. And then I just replace them because they're they're big enough to pick up the big ones and then they're small enough to do like a two placer on the regular size drills on the special shapes because they tend not to be grid light so you can't do a massive color blocking so yeah I have a pen that has a two and a three placer and so this four placer is for my normal diamond painting but I really do like these metal tips so next one next one what did I Okay, this one is, guess what? Flower diamond painting. <laughs> yes, yes. You're like, Joan, will I ever get sick of the flower diamond paintings? I'm like, probably not. I've done so many of them and I still do them, so probably not. So it does look like ordinary toolkit, except there is some black tweezers. And these are special shape drills here. And ta-da, here it is. It's this it's it's a paper quilling inspired diamond painting except this is like pretty much full coverage um so this will take a little bit more time no no i'm just trying to flatten it out as much as possible so it looks like it's full coverage but when i'm looking at the color list there's only nine colors so it actually might not be that hard just because of just the nine colors. Um, so oh, there's only one, there's only one legend. So there are nine colors. It does look like there is the crystal code in there. Um, and let's look at the drill field. I have not had any problems with the drill field on these ones, just mainly because they're in a white circle, so as long as you're able to cover the white circle with the drills, I don't think you'll have a problem. Um, is there only like 
there's okay there are some bigger ones i could see like this seven is bigger and this nine is bigger but yeah i think i think this one will turn out nice yes Oh, and this one is $7 on DIY Digital site. And wait, I forgot to measure it while, while I remember. So this is a 25 by, looks like 34 and a half maybe. And here are the drills. Oh, there's, these are separate. Oh, the, there's some bigger clear drills. And it looks like this is some brown drills and then some bigger brown drills. And here are more brown drills, orange. Some green, are these the same color? Yep, those are both four. Some like beige colors, and then a lot of the clear drill, and some yellow here. So yeah. I would say I'm gonna finish this for the end of the video, but I don't know, it might be it might be a pretty big one. So we will see. We'll see what other stuff is in this unboxing before I decide which one I'm going to show for the end of the video. So, next one! Okay, I know, let's see. Just turn into the page. So this one is $4.25. Um, it has an ordinary toolkit. These should be round drills. And... Here it is! It's this little, little, it seems little because I, it's only a 30 by 30, but it's this butterfly. So, let's, okay, so it's a 30 by 30, but I'm going for 25, probably, nope, it's a 24 by 24, and it's, of this butterfly. I actually think it'll turn out um, even in this small size. So it does have 23 colors with DMCs and there are, the legend is all letters. And drill field. It's clear enough. It's not the clearest I've seen, but it's clear enough. Yeah, this drill field looks clear enough here. It's very colorful and it's actually pretty confetti-y considering probably because there are 23 colors and it's just this small diamond painting here. And let's look at the colors. Let's see. Oh, these are separate for whatever reason. Some purple, blue, and beige. So some more browns, and then these are like the muted colors here. That's like a really dark blue, um, 939. So some more blues here. And some. I was hoping there would be more of like some aqua colors, because I thought those were going to be like, like, you know, teal colors. These, this right here. Whatever L is. What's L? 415 is number. Oh, that looks... That's a gray. See, I totally thought this would be more of a um, blue-green color, but they decided to go for gray. So yeah, I think it'll still turn out. It'll still turn out nice. It is a, it is a very pretty, colorful butterfly. Like I said, I was like hoping there would be a little bit more of the blue-green color since those are my favorite types of colors, but this will probably still turn out pretty good. So let's put that away. And I don't, did I say this was $4.25? I probably did. So next one, oh, my tablecloth or my backdrop is a little bit So this one is a more holiday diamond painting. It's five dollars on the website. And let's see, ordinary toolkit. These are also round drills. And here it is. It's these. I could move you up a little bit. 
move you up a little bit. It's these candles and um, pine cones. So golden candles and pine cones. Let me see if I could flatten this. Hmm, I'm pondering which of these diamond paintings to do for the end of the video because they all kind of seem like the butterfly might be the fastest. Well, actually, I don't know. They all seem like they could be done just as quickly as each other. Um, so I'll ponder which one I want to do for the end of the video. Um, or I might not be able to get to it. Hopefully I'll be able to get to it. So yeah, here it is. It's these candles and with the pine cone here. Um, let's see, there are 23 colors. All the symbols look like they're letters here. And drill field looks pretty clear. I don't think I'll have a problem with this one. I wonder if any of these I could replace with my, I have some gold um, round drills. I wonder if I could replace any of these. See, the problem is doing the replacements is actually a lot harder than you, than you might think and because it might mess up the integrity of the shading of the other stuff so yeah i'm gonna see if any of these look like they could be replaced with my gold drills because i do have some gold drills i wonder if they're actually in this room um they probably are in this room i do have some gold drills so maybe hmm so here are these colors here and they're very very just muted colors because they, it's just the color scheme of this it's the gold theme so yeah i'll have to think think about what could possibly be i might i might for the the flames use rhinestones for those but i do kind of want to see if i could what's h h looks like it could be a good Thing to change to gold. So H is a number nine. Nine is this one. Huh, maybe I could replace that with my gold drills. We will see. So I'll, I'll, I'll probably plunk it down and think and see if I think it looks good. So yeah, a bunch of just really brown colors here or I might just be like, just do the flames. Those are easiest ones to um, change to bling up. I think I kind of want to do this one instead of all the other ones. We will see. I will probably, yeah, I'll, I'll ponder it when I'm, when I decide which ones to kit, kit up. So yeah, there is that one. And did I say this was $5? So let me bring you up here and show you everything from this unboxing. So here is the pine cone and gold candles. Here is the, oop, it's upside down. Here is the flower special shape. And here is the butterfly. I, I wish I will, t I can tell you which one I want to do, but I'll probably ponder it. Um, and so yeah, if I finish something, it will be right here, so I'll see you later. But if not, because I am making no promises in finishing anything. Um, thank you to DIY Digital Art for sending these items for review. And thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye. So I'm back and I finished this one, the candles with the pine cones here. Um, let's see, what did I write? There were 23 colors. These are round drills. Yeah, they did have DMCs and this took me four days to complete and my main issues were B and R looked very similar um, and they were of course right next to each other and, and I ended up using some gold drills for this ribbon section here like do you see these little swirling ribbons here and then I also used rhinestones for the flames and some of the um, starburst here, I guess. So, so yeah, here it is. Um, I think for the size, it looks decent enough on camera. It actually looks much better than it does in person. Um, the pine cone actually, I think turned out really, really well. Um, this, the, what do you call these? The 
the leaves, the pine, the pine leaves, the pine needles, and they're not le leaves, um, are a little bit kind of washed out in the background, so you don't really see it um, in person. And the the candles, I'm not sure about the color scheme. Like I don't know, the color in my picture looks a little bit different. I'm and these are just a little bit more yellowish orange. Um, but I mean, you can see what the things are and from afar, it looks actually relatively good. So this is sometimes the problem with the smaller size diamond paintings and hence why I tend to pick the 40 by 50s. It doesn't always work is that you need to choose simpler images for the, um, size, but overall I still enjoyed it and I think I could tell what everything is. This pine cone did not really, is not as defined as this one, but I, I'm really happy with the pine cone. Like this pine cone, you can't really see it in the picture, but I did use some gold drills here for the ribbon. And I'm, I like how that ends up looking. It, 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 it separates out the, the ribbon from the rest of it. And then I also used rhinestones for the flames here and some of the stars. I was going to do pretty much most of them, but some of them just didn't have good placement for me to use the, um, the rhinestone. So I just kind of did like only a couple of them. So, so yeah. Um, like I said, this would probably have turned better out, turned out better as a bigger picture, but for the size, I think it looks halfway decent. So, um, that's the only finish I have for this video. So thank you to DIY Digital Art for sending this diamond painting and the other diamond paintings for review. And thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.